What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Jean Grey as the Phoenix from the X-Men using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so if you want to create Jean Grey as the Dark Phoenix, the first thing you're going to do is obviously come to the character creator. Now, what you want to do first, you want to pick one of the slots. All of them are just randomized at the moment, so I'm going to pick the first slot, obviously. Now, in the first slot, if it loads, just a second, there we go. So, with Dark Phoenix, she doesn't really have a weapon or anything like that, so we're going to get rid of the sword straight away. The next thing you want to do is we're going to go to hair, and we're going to pick, if I can find it, is it, no, it's not that one. I think, I think that's the hair the Jean wears in Lego Marvel Superheroes 1. So we're going to go with that hair. It looks a bit weird at the moment because we've got Venom's face, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. Then the next one you want to go to is the face. And I think the face I use is right at the top somewhere. Where is it? Is it Captain Marvel? Yeah, I think it's the Captain Marvel face that I use because that looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't think you need to change yet. The skin color is the same and everything, so that's all good. You don't need to mess around with any of that. Then what you want to do is you want to go to body. And for the body, there are a few green pieces you could use in this character creator, I think, that you could use as a way of making Jean Grey. But I personally think the best thing to use in this character creator to make Jean is probably... I just find it. Wong. I think Wong's piece is the best thing to use when you want to make Jean in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And then, of course, for the arms, you just want to match the same color. So you want to go all the way to the top. You want to go to green. And then, boom, there you go. So it's already starting to look like Jean. But when it's in gameplay, she looks a lot like Jean Grey. And when you're flying around and everything, it's awesome. Really, really cool. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to hands and you want to go to yellow. There's a few different yellow colors. I'm trying to get the right one. I think it's just the bright yellow. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think it's just bright yellow. And then for the hips, I just usually give her just green. I kind of base it on what the design looks like in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1. You know, with the Super Pack DLC, they had, uh, I think they had another version of Dark Phoenix, but this is the one that you get in the main game, I think, if I remember correctly. Then for the legs, this one is pretty cool, because I was just going to give her green legs, but then I realized if you scroll down, you have Doc Ock unlocked, you have this. So there you go. So that already looks like Jean Grey. It looks pretty cool. Now we get to do the fun part, which is where you go into the character abilities. So first off, like I said, we don't need a weapon. But we're going to go to passive traits, and we're going to go to health icon. And I think we should go for... We'll go for yellow. Or, yeah, we'll go for that one. And then for health type, that's up to you guys. I would, I would say, you know... Dark Phoenix is extremely powerful, so if you want, you can make her invulnerable, or you can make her standard. That's up to you. I think for fun, we'll go with invulnerable. I think we'll make her completely powerful. And then for the voice, uh, if you check here, you can see these are all, like, male and female voices. Like, the first three are male, and the, f the other three are female, so I just go with voice four. Uh, movement speed, uh, I think she just have default. And target reticle... When I'm making the X-Men in this game, I kind of just give them that. But it's up to you guys which one you want to choose. You could choose that one if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. Now onto the fun part with the powers. So, we don't want to grapple. Techno access. Uh, I mean, Jean's not an idiot. She's very smart, so we could keep that on there. But I don't know if it really, you know, fits the character when you're playing as I mean sure you can do techno access but you could also use someone else who we could make in the X-Men who could do that as well mind control definitely magic absolutely deflect eh, probably not cracked Lego walls she is pretty powerful um, I'm not sure I'm gonna leave that one fine cut no fix it no super strength no time manipulation portal create tracking teleport uh, no, I think we'll leave all these. I think these are all fine. I'm kind of basing her on how she played in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1, basically. So I'm not trying to give her too many powers. But of course, you guys can totally do that. You can just follow this tutorial, make that design, and then give her whatever powers you want. It is entirely up to you. 
But I think that's it. Uh, techno access, wall climbing, grapple, crack clever walls, deflect, fine cut, fix it, super strength, time manipulation. All of these I don't think are necessary. But now we're going to go on to uh, tap square. So for tap square, what I would do is I wouldn't go with stealth, not explosion attack, not force field, not fighting, definitely not these two. I would go with bolts. Now for bolts, you want to choose both hands. I just think it looks cooler when it's both hands. But you can do left hand or right hand. Entirely up to you. Uh, then what you want to do is, because it looks so much cooler, you choose orange. It already looks really nice when she attacks. So that is the default. That's uh, the second one. And that's the that one. I don't know why those are arrows, but there you go. I thought they were supposed to be web shooters. But uh, maybe, maybe that's an issue. Who knows? But yeah, so there's a few of these to choose from. I kind of like to choose the one based on the sound. That just sounds too magical to me. I think that one's pretty cool. But that one seems more, like, aggressive, if you know what I mean. But it's a lot more like lightning powers. I think we'll go with that one, because I think that works better. Bolt targeting, nah, we don't need that. Heat bolts, definitely, we want heat bolts. So when you attack with this, it will, you know, produce heat. Uh, hold square, do we want anything on hold square? I don't think so, I don't think we need anything on hold square. But circle, do you want anything on circle? Yeah, when you tap circle, you want a force field, you want to do it the same color. See, that looks really cool. Even if you just look from the back, it doesn't even look like a custom character. It looks like Jean Grey. Which is awesome. I mean, just do it again, Gene. There you go. Look, see? It doesn't even look like a custom character. It's pretty cool. So, after that, you want to go to hold circle, and then we're going to choose a beam. So, for the beam type, obviously, you want a heat beam. You definitely don't want an ice beam. Uh, for beam color, same again, orange. Uh, for beam or origin, I would say just do both hands. Looks cooler. And then, you don't want that one because that's more like lightning. I think it's that one, but let's just go through all of them just to be safe. Yeah, see, that's like a repulsor blast. This is the one you want. That is like a heat beam. And then, I think that's it. And then you can choose which one you want. I just went with both hands because I think that's better. And then, uh, explosion attack. So we got tap circle as force field holds a circle as the beam and actually you know what I really like I like the idea of this if we go tap we got tap square so what about hold square what happens when she holds square well how about an explosion attack I think that would be cool because there is actually one style that I think really works and that's this one I just think that fits the dark phoenix perfectly so let's go with that one we'll go for orange See how good it looks? It's already looking really cool. And then we've got the heat explosion, and that should do it. There you go. Now, we want to go to, for double tap, obviously you want flight. Uh, it's up to you guys if you want hyper jump. Sometimes I don't like to use it, but it's entirely up to you. For this time, I'm not going to use it because I just think... I just like to be able to fly. I'm not really bothered about hyper jumping. But uh, there you go, guys. That is Jean Grey as the Dark Phoenix created in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now what we're going to do is basically go... And here she is. This is our custom-made Jean Grey as the Dark Phoenix in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And she looks awesome. Like I said, when you're playing as her from the back, you know, which is most of the time, to be honest, unless you're, like, turning the camera a lot. But if you look from the back and she's running, it just looks like Jean Grey. If you start flying, it looks even more like Jean Grey. So it's pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is fight some crime and show off what Jean can do. So one of the things that isn't necessarily combat-related is her shield. So you can create a shield like that. It's awesome. I love that they give you the ability to change the color of stuff like that because it just makes making these characters go a whole other way. You know, it just makes them look so much better. So being able to play as Jean and have a force field and stuff is something. pretty cool. Henchman. Now, the next thing, obviously we added these blasts. And if we hold down square, if you remember, we can do this. <laughs> Which is awesome. I love that move. Let's just get a better look at that move for a second. If we charge it up, watch what Gene does. Ready for this? That just looks so cool. And of course, we also added a beam. 
can do this. There it is. That guy's not really taking any damage right now, but that's okay. We can sort him out. Wow. These guys are pretty strong for just a bunch of henchmen. Okay, I should have really pressed circle then, but oh well. Let's see if this guy's going to do the jump attack again. He just keeps standing over there. That's interesting. Ah, my blast isn't really... Well, the beam isn't really working on these guys very well, so I'm going to stop using that. Hey, come over here a second. I'm going to wait for them to do a jump attack, hopefully. Come on, guys, do a jump attack. Ah, here we go. Yes! Interesting enough, I don't think my attacks are working very well on these guys. There we go. I guess it's because when you choose the powers in the customizer, uh, you know, you can choose if you want to have like blasts or swords or fists or something like that. And if you don't choose like melee combat, your character doesn't actually do any melee combat. It's only these blasts. So that's why I can't go up close and hit them. I can only do like Jean's uh, bolt attacks. But there you go. See, we sorted them. They're done. Nice. Maybe we can find some easier enemies to fight around here somewhere. But I just want to give you guys a quick showcase because I really love this customizer. I mean, it is so cool. And being able to play as, you know, characters that aren't actually in the game is pretty fun. Like, I know the X-Men aren't in the game, I know the Fantastic Four aren't in the game and stuff like that, but the fact is, you really are given the tools to be able to bring them into the game. I mean, I've played as Jean Grey as Dark Phoenix a lot since I got the game, um, just because I thought she looked so much like the character, and it's just, it's cool, it is really cool. The only thing that kind of throws me off about it isn't the torso because I just ignore that because it's just it just looks great in my opinion um, it's actually the stance I'm not a huge fan of this stance you know the the idol stance I just think it's just a bit just a bit bland in my opinion I'd really like it if they could maybe choose a powerful stance even something like uh, where is where is Captain Marvel at where'd she go she was just with us for a second ago oh hello there, there, there she is. So if she stands still, there, even something like that would be cool. Like, that or there's a few other idle animations. I just think in an update it would be great if they could change this idle animation to something a little cooler, basically. Ah, here we go. Here's some bad guys. Can we uh, pick him up and do a special attack? Okay, so there's no special attack for the custom characters, but still, you can beat them up like that. There you go. Thank goodness you so Jean Grey just saved that lady. Nice. Good work. We can't let those guys just do it. You're right. We can't just let those guys do it. <laughs> right. Here we are in the old west as Jean Grey. And the cool thing there is, of course, you've got Jean Grey. Maybe you want to make an. A different version of her or something like maybe you want to make a 2099 gene gray or a hydra gene gray or something like that i don't know what a hydra gene gray would look like because this is the dark phoenix i haven't actually made normal gene yet might try and play around with that idea and see if i can make the gene from the first game um but i just thought you know when i saw those pieces i just thought oh it'd be so cool if i could make dark Fe phoenix and i did and i was just so happy with it i'm really happy with the way this one turned out and stay tuned because I've got a lot more characters that I'm going to be show showing you guys how to make. And they're not just X-Men. There's some cool stuff that I've got planned that I can't wait to show you all. Whoa. Just collect these studs. Oh, hang on. Trouble? I hear trouble. But I don't see it on the map. I guess it's gone. Oh well. Now, in the first game, I think Jean went to uh, Lumiria with Iron Man and maybe Spider-Man and someone else, Thor maybe. Now, we don't know it was Lumiria for definite, but it was an underwater city. And I like to think it is Lumiria. I mean, come on. Um, so now, what we can do is actually take Jean 
to the real Lomeria. And there we go. That looks pretty awesome, actually, being able to walk around here as Jean Grey. Pretty cool. I completely forgot to actually name her Jean Grey, but oh well. I tend to forget to do that because I'm like, as soon as I finished making one character, hey that character probably gets we're replaced by another one I make concept. not long after that. And we're looking for bright eyed, bushy tailed participants to see if the idea is worth pursuing. Interested? We're planning All right, so we have kind of shown a lot of the map with Jean here. What I'm going to do now is we're going to fly all the way up to not Atalan, higher. We're going to go up to nowhere because I think that'd be quite quite a cool ending. I'm looking forward to the uh, Dark Phoenix movie. I'm interested to see where they're going to take that one uh, next because. I thought X-Men Apocalypse, you know, it's not the best of the franchise, but I, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was okay, to be honest. Um, I definitely think Days of Future Past was way better. I mean, Days of Future Past was fantastic, but I, I, I did enjoy X-Men Apocalypse, and I'm looking forward to seeing where, I think the new one is going to be called Dark Phoenix, where that's going to go. Um, there's rumors of, like, the, the scrolls being in it and stuff like that. I mean... Sounds sounds interesting. Definitely sounds interesting. I don't know how that works though when Marvel are also using the scrolls in Captain Marvel, so we'll have to see about that. Hey, what's that platform do? Let me see. Does it just push you over there? Yes, it does. That's all it does. Okay, cool. And you can do it again. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's going to happen there because obviously Captain Marvel's going to have scrolls as well, but uh, hey, we'll see. I'd personally really like to see the X-Men movies go to space at some point. I think it would be really cool to see the X-Men fighting in space. So if we get to see the X-Men fighting the Skrulls in space, sign me up because that sounds awesome. Maybe uh, the Skrulls are like one of those things Marvel and Fox can both use. Like maybe Fox can use them for certain reasons and Marvel can use them for certain reasons. Kind of like Quicksilver. You know, Quicksilver was in Age of Ultron, but he's also in the X-Men movies. Um, so maybe the, maybe the scrolls are a bit like that, but there's some differences. I'm th what I'm thinking is probably Marvel can use, like, the scroll, uh, you know, race, but they probably can't use, like, the main huge leaders and things from the comics and stuff like that. I mean, maybe they can. Maybe they can. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But I feel like if that is the deal, that would make a lot of sense because then that would allow both parties to be able to use the characters as as much as they want, really. And yes, you can go in nowhere in case you didn't see my walkthrough. You can go inside it. Um, it's obviously different to what you see in the movies, but it's still cool. And you got Cosmo up in here as well, which is nice. Cosmo just chilling out. He's probably thinking, who the heck is that? Uh, just just ignore it, Cosmo. It's an X-Men. You haven't met them yet. Maybe one day. We'll see. <laughs> Apparently, there are uh, Marvel and Disney are in talks to potentially buy 20th Century Fox. And that would result in the X-Men and Fantastic Four coming home. We'll see about that. That's That sounds kind of unlikely to me you know that sounds too good to be true but hey you never know you never know i personally really enjoy the x-men movies as they are but if they can somehow you know find a way to connect them well not connect them they'd probably reboot it but if they could somehow find their way back to marvel studios that would be pretty sweet and then we could have the avengers the Guardians, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, all with the X-Men and Fantastic Four and Silver Surfer. I mean, that would be pretty crazy, you got to admit. <laughs> Boom. Anyway, guys, this has been a long video. I basically just wanted to show you guys how to make Jean Grey, but I thought it'd be fun to just run around the open world and showcase what she can do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Stay tuned for lots more character creation videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.